good evening everybody first of all thank you uh, eq for arranging pink session uh, after the tea so that people at least will uh, able to get all the things and uh, thank you everybody for being here uh, i'm pujan doshi i'm representing vari group in particularly i'm heading the uh, business division of uh, vari string inverters and the uh, technology and storage on that so i'll be presenting on that uh, so I just wanted to start off uh, the presentation on a beautiful picture which actually represents the vision of Vari Group. You see this small kids uh, sitting on a grass happily. So what our vision is that somewhere down the line, generations further, we want to do something, we want to do a thing that will take care of those future generations to come. And we are doing this through uh, the energy business. So uh, before I uh, go into the product and our services, I'll just shortly brief uh, about our group and our company. Uh, Vari Group, uh, as a company, we started in 1989, founded by our chairman's vision, Mr. Hitesh Doshi, back in 1989. And uh, we have been through various businesses with the latest venture uh, in uh, solar in 2007, where we were the first ones to start uh, module manufacturing in Gujarat with 30 megawatt capacity. As of today, we have a 550 megawatt operational and uh, a large uh, boost to that capacity will be added by the end of December this year, which will total up to 1.2 gigawatt of module manufacturing in India. Uh, as a group, we uh, have two ma major businesses. One is into the renewable energy and the second is into uh, uh, valves, level gauges for industrial and oil and gas industry. Uh, just to give you a quick overview of our offerings, we believe in business excellence driven by our three focus areas, that is uh, quality, uh, customer and services. As Vari Energies, we are present right from solar modules to EPC projects, having more than 2000 plus projects already done in India and uh, having a current pipeline of more than 200 megawatt under execution. We are also an IPP having 150 megawatt of operating assets in India, partly and fully owned by us. We are also into rooftop solutions where we have more than 350 megawatt of projects executed with more than 50 megawatt of projects still under execution this year. We are into solar uh, thermal uh, for water heating systems, for industrial and residential usage. We are into water pumps as well, where we have done more than today, as of today, we have done more than 6,000 solar pumps, pumps pan India. We are, uh, we, uh, are also a project developer where we give end-to-end -end services to the developers right from land selection till commissioning and O&M. Uh, these are some of our credentials which I already have gone through. We are one of the top Indian, Indian module manufacturers right after the Chinese ones. Uh, with having more than, uh, I think as of today, it will be more than 850 megawatt of modules shipped out worldwide. Our capabilities include end-to-end, -end, which includes pre-feasibility study, uh, analysis, land selection, site allocation, EPC, ONM, and uh, giving end-to-end -end, uh, production uh, to the developer. These are our focus areas. As a company, we focus on cost and quality. We try to maintain the sweet balance between the cost and the quality and try to deliver the most to the developer and the uh, end user. Efficiency, not only in product, but also in our services and delivery to the end customer. And third is technology and R&D. So some of our manufacturing facilities and capabilities I would like to highlight today quickly. Uh, we have a 500 megawatt plus factory with uh, in-house testing for all the raw material as well as finished product testing, equivalent to all the IEC labs. We make both poly and mono uh, crystalline uh, modules, starting from 3 megawatt to uh, 340 megawatt, 3 for, sorry, 3 watt to uh, 3 for, uh, 340 watt panels. Uh, we have been successfully audited by world's largest discoms such as EDF and NL. Uh, which are world's number one and number two distri power distribution companies in Italy and France respectively. Also, we have been uh, vetted by Black Inwich, which is US's premier uh, auditing company 
has vetted our manufacturing facilities for quality and uh, our capabilities on technology. Uh, some of the module features uh, that I would like to highlight is higher efficiency with the same equivalent quality across our value chain, across our product chain and service offerings. Uh, today what I want to disclose and today what I want to announce to this audience today is our technology capabilities which we are working on today and two technologies is what I'm going to be focusing on. One is going to be a module technology and another is going to be an inverter technology. So let me start off with the module technology. Now these are the two names, uh, Merlin Solar which is a technology name and a company as well. I'll start off with that. So Merlin Solar is a basically a private health company. Uh, owning this technology back in US, having an exclusive partnership with us. What is this technology all about? I'll just brief you about that. So you, uh, sorry, you all must have seen that uh, the solar modules cannot be uh, installed or cannot be made on a flexible basis. If at all it is made, then there are a lot of restrictions and a lot of uh, calculation that goes into it. Merlin technology is nothing but a bus bar technology where physically you can see more than 120 bus bars, but it is more than that. So let me just uh, start off. So conventional uh, crystalline silicon cells are six inch with a wafer thin of around 180 micrometers, which does not allow it to flex beyond a certain angle. The main restriction on that is because of the current bus bar technology, which is three, four, five, six or 12 bus bar, which you see on the uh, foreign manufacturers. What this technology allows is to get a flex, flex value which is well beyond your conventional uh, angle. You could use this technology and install a module at 180 degree flex angle from end to end. That's the technology that we are working with. So not only that, even if you, inst even if you use this technology on your conventional glass glass modules or glass frame modules, you still have at least four to six percentage higher generation on your normal module itself without changing, just without changing any of your cell technology or components or anything except one that is the bus bar which we give. All of these modules are indigenously made which I can proudly say that it is a made in India module uh, with the technology that has been created by an Indian in US. So this is how two of our modules look like. On the left, or sorry, on the left, which you see is our standard glass module, which can actually be uh, made with the flexible back back panel as well. So you could remove the glass and use uh, uh, you know plastic materials to get a flex angle over a standard module, which is what you see in the next one. So this is a completely rollable module in the size of your standard 320 and uh, 72 cell sizes. So how, how is this performance, uh, how does this performance come out? What is the reason behind it? That is what I want to explain today. So we have done some in-house testing as well as third party testing and these are some of the testing figures where you can see that Merlin, if uh, you just change the uh, bus bars from your conventional four or five or 12 bus bars to the Merlin bus bar system, it gives you around 4% every year more generation and a lesser degradation value as well. So the reason behind that is that whenever a solar module manufacturer makes solar modules using your conventional crystalline silicon cells, you uh, tend to have that micro cracks over a period of time which you know have causes a lot of problems and you have a lot of generation loss as well. What the Merlin's 120 bus bar does is even if you have a small micro crack you can still extract the same amount of power because of huge availability of bus bar on the cell itself. In fact, it also, uh, so uh, you all must be wondering that how is this 4% achieved if there are so many bus bars on the cell, right? So it's not just the bus bar that are there, but it also gives you a, a higher light, uh, ref, uh, sorry, lower light reflection uh, away from the modules. In increasing of uh, increasing the power consumption from the cell by reducing the cell uh, by re reducing the resistance that comes from the solar cells. So these are some of the facts that we have found out uh, in our in-house and third-party testing labs. 
we have also uh, put this panel into a huge endurance testing of around, uh, I mean, we put around 100, 105 numbers of odd panels into an end endurance testing at the military level, where they have a very, very high requirements of the uh, mo module quality because of the transportation that the modules go through. And I can say that uh, seeing the Indian uh, conditions, Indian road conditions, it is more or less like the military uh, itself when you transfer the modules from your port to the destination. So even after this uh, transportation, we have seen a less uh, degradation in the solar, less or rather no degradation of the performance in solar modules. Uh, what also uh, Merlin provides is that because the uh, power availability is more, you have a higher normalized yield of energy over a period of 25 years, which stays always on the higher side than your conventional modules. Uh, we also tested this power delivery system because uh, ultimately uh, sometime down the line when India adopts the en energy storage uh, as a standard for the residential systems, we tested these modules to deliver power to the battery. Now what these modules have also shown us that because of the higher availability of power it delivers more power uh, to the battery storage systems irrespective of the battery technology of course. Merlin is also rugged in nature in terms of physicality. Uh, we have tested it through 1000 temperature cycles of minus 70 to plus 85 degrees Celsius and this is the performance which we get uh, over the conventional 3 or 4 bus bar modules, always on the higher side. We also performed the same damp, te damp heat test which is a standard in the uh, solar modules, the same modules are subjected to this and we had less loss of power almost half uh, in comparison with the conventional module system. Uh, it uh, then also comes your IEC standard on the solar cell modules for vibrations. So what happens is when you put a standard module subjected to a vibration, you will see this uh, image on the left as the output of the EL image on your EL testers, whereas Merlin has proven to be a less uh, disconnected. So what this, uh, if uh, I'm not sure if the audience knows about these images, but this is sort of an X-ray of a solar module, which shows that what is the quality uh, the solar module manufacturers are following. So on the first image, what you see is these dark areas, which is typical to our body X-ray system as well. When you see a dark area, it is mostly disconnected from the entire system. And on the other on the Merlin images, you see uh, less or no cells disconnected at all. This is how you get a higher performance module. This is the uh, two comparison before, uh, uh, just after manufacturing and just after uh, delivery to the site. So on the top left and on the top right, which you see is the, sorry, is the uh, manufacturing uh, uh, images right after the testing at the production factory and as soon as you have deployed it at the uh, field just after the transportation is itself you'll see that there are a lot of dark spots which has occurred all over the module and this is this is a phenomena which is standard for all the modules worldwide this is not a phenomena that is special to any manufacturer Merlin post deployment shows absolutely no change in the uh, uh, EL imaging of, of the module. This is the military level transportation uh, impact test which we had consider, which we had uh, come down uh, in the US. So uh, US Army uh, along with uh, the conjunction with Merlin in US they had conducted this test and we have the results for that. Uh, on the left you can see that this is a, a three bus bar module with uh, almost no uh, losses before the manufacturing and on the right after the military test which is having a very very uh, high terrain transportation and going through various uh, bumpy roads and all of that they have uh, failed at the moment when they go uh, for the site installation but not Merlin modules. We also have that uh, in the electrical performance, we have even after transportation, you get still 
uh, 3% better power uh, from the modules. These images uh, we can share, if anybody requests the same, we can share this presentation uh, with you guys. We also have done an impact test on those modules, which is a standard, again, as the same IC standard. Uh, you know, uh, the IC standard for this is a 100 gram ball, which has to keep on hitting the modules over times over a period. So we conducted the same test on the modules and you could see that even after uh, the test, because there are 120 bus bars, although the module is cracked, although the glass of the module is cracked, you still get the same power, which is the next, uh, sorry. Okay, sorry, I don't have that uh, image, but I would definitely add to this. We have seen that uh, the module performance is the same even after the glasses have cracked, even if because of the impact test. This is what we could create uh, because of the flex tolerance. And what you see on the uh, top image is the uh, flex which we have used during the manufacturing. This is the almost 180 degree flex end to end of a size of a two meter module, which is our standard 72 cell module. And then we have, uh, this is your post lamination image on the left. And this is your post bend image. You can see hardly there is any difference of the performance itself. Had this been a conventional module or a conventional, a conventional flex module, this would have been a story which would have been completely different. So what this technology ultimately uh, enables, right? that is what we are here for. So this enables a lot of variety of applications like peel and stick modules. You could just peel off the back of the module and stick it on your roof. No more structures, no more fasteners, no more nut bolts, no more uh, heavy duty lifting of the modules, no more uh, slower installation progress. These are a very, very lightweight modules can be carried in two hands, two modules in two hands and a person could easily lift up to your roof. Simply just peel the back of the module and stick it on the roof. That's all. We have also done this, we have also done a lab test on the right. You can see an image which shows our lab with the peel and stick modules with the performance images from the EL tester. There is no, no or absolutely no difference of performance on the, uh, on the peel and stick modules as well. And we are also doing cycle testing on this. So currently, uh, I mean, when this presentation was made a couple of months back, it was already at 600 cycle testing without any performance degradation. We have also created a lot of uh, flex modules in our own uh, facility to uh, make this. What this technology also enables is you could simply make a module with a cloth on the back and still get the same performance out of that. So the first image on the left, we have installed a module with uh, having a high tensile cloth, typically a military cloth typically a military level cloth uh, which is installed on the back of this this is especially for the military applications here and abroad this is what uh, we think the future will look like uh, using this technology on the rooftops here in india and worldwide a simple peel and stick with the junction boxes at the top for the module and just extract the power directly we also, this technology could be used for e-rickshaw, for um, modules over the e-bus or modules over a lot of transportation devices such as railways uh, and the e-rickshaw initiative in the north and across pan-India as well. We had displayed this module in the last REI, the picture on the right you see is the technology owner, Mr. Murli. Uh, who is part uh, who is uh, in part holder of this uh, in our venture and we I mean that's almost a half a ton bike right on the module and people were climbing on it and they were clicking pictures with the module so that's the level of uh, technology that we have used up it also has small applications such as wearables and mobile applications such as small devices or uh, you know uh, home lighting systems to deliver more power of the modules itself so the next which I want to quickly go through and I'll not take more time because I understand it's uh, uh, taken up more time. The next is the inverters. So Wari has, uh, uh, Wari has introduced this solar string inverters right from one kilowatt to 75 kilowatt which are available for the rooftop installations which I'll just quickly go through. 
So the first one which you see is a 50, 60, 65 and a 75 kilowatt inverter with a 98.8% efficiency. Uh, this efficiency is one of the top twos in the world. There is no, I mean, there is only one player with 99% efficiency and we are in the top two efficiency market. It's a 68 kilo, kilogram product, which is a very lightweight comparatively with the other heavier inverters. IP65 with uh, 12 inputs and four MPPTs and inbuilt safety functions with uh, like SPDs on AC and DC side. Similarly, we have other range as well. Uh, we have our colleagues here, Mr. Pramod and Mr. Kiran, who represents each of the divisions and they could take your questions post session as well. If you have any detailed questions that I would like to, uh, that you would like to get an answer to, of course, I am available as well. So this is the uh, second division that the second technology that we have come up with. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time.